All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're already. And if you are new here, welcome to my channel. So this is gonna be my personal opinion slash review for Jung E. Uh, Sci-fi drama, a release date is January 20th, 2023 on Netflix uh, today. Uh, runtime is one hour and 39 minutes. The director is Yi sang Hu, who directed the 2016 Train to Baizan uh, and the sequel. Uh, and uh, here's some of the cast. Alright, welcome back. Here's the plot. In a post apocalyptic near future, a researcher and at an, an AI lab leads the effort to end a civil war by cloning the brain of a historic soldier. Right away, you could tell the CGI wasn't great. I love the look of this world that was built. A Korean future industrial look to it. A mixture of set design and green screen. Also notice she uh, noticed the English translation of the titles uh, explaining the setup to the world was super fast and made it hard to read. Uh, in my opinion, Asian films and shows tend to overdo the whole comic relief character a lot more than other countries. It was expected though uh, at this point. I personally found the director of Coronad, and I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right, uh, the Coronad company to be sh uh, super over the top and made him super annoying throughout the whole film. Not exactly what I was expecting from the story-wise. What I got from the trailer and poster was that this was a future action film. This was way more of a sci-fi drama, if anything, which is fine as long as the story is good. It was interesting to look at, but the story for me just felt thin and boring for most of the film. However, the last 40 minutes is when it started to pick up, but I still thought it was an okay film story-wise. Here's my rating, I'll come back with my final thoughts. All right, here are my final thoughts. If they changed some stuff around this, it would have been so much better. Honestly, the last 40 minutes was really good, even though I understand the need for the first half of it to for the lead up. Uh, it had uh, if they changed those things, it had it would have changed the distracting part that was distracting away from that specific dramatic part. It was just pushing me away from the story, not getting into it, and then the last 40 minutes, it got really, really action-packed and got me into it, and then got emotional. Um, i like to see what you guys think in the comments below about this film. Um, definitely in the world of populist futuristic stuff is all getting, starting to get really overused, uh, in my opinion, but, you know, it is what it is. I wouldn't say this is necessarily a new take. It kind of reminded me of, um, just a tad in spots of, uh, iRobot, um, I, some other films that I can't recall, like maybe I Act with Machia or something. I know I, I honestly personally haven't seen that film, but um, it's, it's it's it it is what it is. Um, I, I would I recommend it. I mean, it's not for everyone, but I, I definitely would say maybe if you're looking for something to watch, just check it out. It definitely is interesting. Uh, again, the annoying character. Uh, more than one, but it was mainly the director guy. Um, it's just... It, also, the first half kind of dragged a little. As if I want to also put that in there. Um, but I think it's, it's just more of the annoying characters that was put in here that just kind of pushed me out of the story. So, uh, just keep that in mind when you go into this. Also, keep in mind that this is an option to be subbed. The subbing wasn't that bad, in my opinion. Um... If you do, I would probably go with what you prefer when it comes to subbing or uh, that. I personally f prefer subbing because it, uh, or dubbing it because it, it 
gives me more of uh, interest into the story instead of having to focus half of my time reading. So, but that's just my personal opinion. All of this is. So remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. And I am planning on having something out on Sunday. So, and Monday, but we'll see about that. Um, as you know how that always goes. But again, I love you all. Please stay safe. Skull.